So human trafficking is everywhere with new victims every day, and it doesn't look like what you may think. A task force at the state capitol is exploring ways to keep victims safe while also making sure their cases actually see a courtroom. Elise Corville was at that meeting today. She joins us with what she learned. Elise. The main part of today's discussion is exploring the issue as to why there's such a huge gap between the number of victims identified versus the number of actual convictions in a courtroom. Why are the numbers not adding up? That is the question this group is tasked with answering. The Human Trafficking Task Force chaired by Senator Beth Mizell is working with people from different backgrounds to develop new laws to help combat the ongoing crime. Everybody at this table has a role to play in um, either preventing uh, sex trafficking or human trafficking or labor trafficking in the state, or they've had a part in putting in legislation or working with victims or an awareness of the uh, what's happening in the community. According to data used in today's discussion, the number of human trafficking victims is much higher than those who have been charged or convicted. I don't see the arrest matching anywhere near the number of victims that we, we are always acknowledging. The task force says attention needs to turn to developing better practices for spotting the signs of human trafficking. Well, there's not going to be an easy button to this, Senator. You know that. The members on your committee know that. But just because it's hard doesn't mean we shouldn't do it. In three years, 13 separate trainings were conducted. Approximately 750 law enforcement officers, prosecutors, victim assistant coordinators, and judges received some sort of training on the topic. On the same note, in the last three years, only 75 total arrests statewide. It is, it is the gestalt. It is a combination of gaps in services. Services the task force says needs to be better identified and expanded upon. I think there, it's a puzzle as to why uh, we're not able to address it at the level of, of uh, prosecutions and convictions that we would expect it to have. And our team had a chance to speak to some brave survivors of human trafficking about their work to help end the crime and get others help. You can watch our full documentary sold in the South on our Nine News app.